600 poor black men were recruited into a syphilis experiment with the promise of free medical care. They did not, however, get the simple antibiotic treatment that could have cured them. Instead, the government's true intent was to track the venereal disease's full, uninterrupted progression, even as the men went blind, or mad, or died. Native Americans who worked with researchers investigating type 2 diabetes were stunned to learn that their DNA was used in several other genetic studies without their consent. And in some Latino communities, a distrust of government intensified by rising deportations, political demonization and a dearth of accurate Spanish-language information fuels skepticism about official efforts to keep people healthy. The communities hardest hit by the coronavirus pandemic have historic reasons to be wary of governmental largesse, especially as it pertains to health care. This poses a formidable dilemma to public health officials eager to reach people and gain their trust as the pandemic peaks and the largest mass vaccination campaign in history unfolds. There are a lot of groups that have reasons to be suspicious, said David Lowe, director of the Center for Health Disparities Research at UC Riverside. We're trying to understand how people gather information, develop attitudes and understand the disease, and testing, and willingness to be tested, and vaccines. Where do they get their information? Who do they trust? What strategies can we use to get accurate information to them and change acceptance and uptake? Investigators at 11 California campuses have received $4. 1 million from the National Institutes of Health to tease out how to best engage hard-hit populations, which may well be different in each individual community. UCLA will lead the effort, called the COVID-19 California Alliance, or Stop COVID-19 CA, which includes researchers at UC Davis, UC Irvine, UC Merced, UC Riverside, UC San Diego, UC San Francisco, USC, Stanford University, Scripps Research and San Diego State University. We must earn the trust of communities whose lived experiences may predispose them to skepticism, said Carrie L. Byington, an infectious disease expert and executive vice president of University of California Health, in a prepared statement. We must listen actively and address concerns respectfully through understanding, transparency and sustained action. The Stop COVID-19 initiative combines interdisciplinary collaboration with community engagement to build the connections that will be vital to ending the pandemic for everyone. In Los Angeles, Riverside and elsewhere, investigators are organizing in-depth virtual focus groups with multi-ethnic communities to identify barriers and challenges. Another project would assess racial and ethnic attitudes among high-risk veterans who might be skeptical of vaccines. The lessons learned could be used across the state and nationwide.